Hi, and welcome to this very short tutorial how to easily insert a full screen photo as slide background, which you can use for your Beyond Bullet Point BBP approach, uh, or if you're a presentation Zen fan, it's very useful too. My name is Mike von Sondweg, and you can contact me via Twitter on this address. So, what we're trying to accomplish. Uh, both the BPP fans, Zen fans, is to get rid of those boring bullet points. You know, your audience is not interested in you reading out loud those bullets. It's not attractive. Simply, it's just boring. So what we want to end up with is using PowerPoint as a visual tool to make your point across. And that's not by using bullets. But an eye-catching title, and the title needs to sum up the main point or idea of your slide. So the thing is, how do we get this beautiful photo as a full-screen background, background of this slide? Well, <clears throat> usually people look up for or find a nice picture, and this is a great source. They copy it go back to the presentation, paste it, usually as a, a bitmap. But what happens is that it's either too big, too small, or just defi the size just doesn't fit. So you need to uh, change the size. Usually uh, what I did too is decrease the size uh, like this and then manually adjust it. And in this case, the, rats, the, ra the ratio of this photo pretty much uh, you know, fits in perfectly. But still, you need to do some, a couple of things, like send it to the back so that your photo uh, or your text pops up again. And when the ratio of the photo is not right, you have, really have to fiddle with the, with the size like, uh, like this manually. And there's a much easier way. And you'll see how in a couple of seconds. Let me erase this. So first of all, we do need to change the layout because we only need the title. We're gonna use the same photo and by copying it, you will send a copy of the photo into your clipboard. Now PowerPoint has a very useful tool which you can address or access by right-clicking on your slide and click on Format Background and there you can select if you want to fill the background with just a solid color, a gradient one, but also with a picture. So you could insert it from a file and browse to your to your folders or you know or have a safe copy. But since it's in your clipboard already, all you have to do <clears throat> is click on this clipboard and it will automatically insert your full screen photo as the background of your slide. What you will see is that PowerPoint automatically makes some changes so it does fit a, a bit better. But you can tweak this if you want some things cropped out. Or you can even uh, also you can also apply the recolor options to make it lighter like this or different colors. But I'll keep the original. Also you can use the transparency uh, options. And again, we'll just keep the original. So there we go. Now, one thing I really like is the new word art for shapes, but also for your text. And this one is my favorite. And the thing is, it, it does make reading the title a little harder. So we're going to format this shape too. Make sure it's a solid one with a, a dark background. And make that one transparent. Now you can leave it like this, or if you like the titles to be full screen or at least uh, the full white, make sure you adjust it like that. And that's all to it. Of course, if you do like your titles uh, filled out over the white, you can adjust that in your master template, in your master slide, so that you don't have to change each individual slide. So just make sure your slide master says your title is um, over the full wide. And there you go. 
studies 